Hey guys, Uncle Ray. Welcome to another episode of the Crypto Bellwether. Guys, I got a really cool trade that I want to share with you guys. This is not financial advice. It's my financial opinion, but it's a really cool, very aggressive trade, especially if you're not into short selling. Uh, it's a two-part trade. I'm looking to sell waves, W-A-V-E-S. Uh, it's rallied like 122% in a week. Uh, I'm looking to sell it short and then buy it back because I am very, very positive about this protocol and this blockchain and everything they got going. So what I'm going to share with you right now, uh, we're going to talk about why it's rallied, all the positive fundamentals, and then tell you why it's not a buy right now and why I'm looking to short it and then buy it back later because I am very, very positive. And like I said, this is a very advanced uh, trade trading technique. Uh, I wouldn't suggest doing it unless you understand it or you just want to learn and you do a very small amount, 10 or $20. You know, then you just have a little bit of skin in the game and you can learn as we go through it. But again, not financial advice. Make up your uh, own mind. Of, it's your money. Now, Waves has rallied, like I said, over a week now. And it's up like 122, 127%, whatever it is. Well, here's basically the reasons. It had a lot of different news come out. Uh, they have a, a new partnership with Allbridge. Uh, they got uh, some uh, cross chain transfers going in uh, between uh, different protocols. The main thing, they're going to build their own uh, metaverse. And they have a big infrastructure plan that they they've they've they're rolling out. Uh, that's extremely positive. Uh, they're set up with the um, the Ethereum virtual machine. That's a, a big positive. Um, they have raised a hundred and fifty million dollars to fund their ecosystem. I mean, guys, it's just a lot. I mean, when you go through everything they got going on, it's a lot of positive, positive information. Their DeFi stuff's coming out. I mean, they're just, they got a positive thing going. So I'm very, very, very bullish long-term. Now, let's take a look at the chart, and then I'm going to tell you what I'm looking to do, and I'm going to tell you why. Now, look at this chart, guys. This is a 30-day chart. It doesn't get more positive for the average person than this. I mean, look at it, guys, straight up. That right there to the average technician who trades off technicals would have told you that was a buy. And then this time, he'd be right. And he would have told you that was a buy when it closed over that. And you'd have caught this. All good, but now here's where the problems start to lie. It's doing it again. And most technicians, because it's cut and dry, guys, there's nothing negative on this screen. They're going to tell you to buy right here. Well, here's what I know, and here's how I think. And all I do is try to think like the guys that are, have 10 times or 100,000 times more money than me. and have all the knowledge and the understanding that they can move a market and how the average public thinks. I've been around hedge fund guys, some of the biggest, baddest dudes on the planet, and I know how they think. And I only want to do what the smart money, what the institutional money does. So here's what they're thinking. They're thinking that we got war going on. We've got that uncertainty. We've got the uncertainty of the Fed uh, raising rates. We got the uncertainty of the SEC and regulation. But guys, it's been a good week as far as Bitcoin uh, starting to move back up. But realistically, guys, with all that uncertainty, even though the adoption is through the roof, I am very bullish crypto, everything crypto and Bitcoin. But all that being said, there's no real reason. For Bitcoin to take off and head to its old time highs. Too much uncertainty. Now, once we get some clarity, that's going to change. So, this particular chart is 
what an institution looks at and goes, look at all these bullish guys. Well, they know. Now, imagine the just way I'm about to tell you. They know right here that the average John Q. public is loading the boat and they're happy and they made all this money. They're excited and they're just going to keep going, right? They're going to 3X. Well, imagine a guy with, say, $500 million, which is nothing. And he's got a hedge fund or, you know, whatever it is. And he goes in and he just puts like 10 really aggressive sales, really aggressive back to back. Boom, boom, boom. And he just pushes it down to break that line right there. If that line breaks, it's gone. Because this guy, he wants to get out and take his profits. Uh, those guys, and then the ones that just got in, they're already at a loss. It's going to drop like a rock. And then, just like I'm looking to do, that's the first part of the trade. The second part is, because I am bullish, once it falls apart, I'll break it into probably three parts. I'll try to buy here, try to buy here, and try to buy there. And that's what the institutions are looking to do. Now, how am I going to go short? Here's my suggestion. And again, not financial advice. Guys, the main reason I do this is because it's fun and educational. But look, I'm going to watch this thing, and I'm hoping that it's going to get back up. And it won't be much just to get back to the highs of today. When it starts to test that, I don't think it's going to break it. And if it does break it, it's only going to be a little bit. And again, that would be the institutions wanting it to trade above this high and then really slam it tomorrow or the next day whenever they decide to do it. Um, so I'm if it's right in here, doesn't matter. When it starts to test that high, I'm going to short probably uh, 50% or 75% of the money. And then hopefully it's going to break that high and start to run a little bit. And people get excited and start to buy. I'll short 25% and another 25%. So then I'll be fully in uh, short, say, in that range right there. Now, if that happens tonight, I'm hoping that tomorrow morning I wake up and that thing is actually all I really care is I want it to get right there. Once it gets to right there, I know it's probably going to start to to drop. And when it gets to there, I'd probably uh cover one position. Then if it starts to uh fall more, I'll cover another position. And I'll cover another position. Now, depending on what's going on and how fast it's falling, and if this trade is working out, and let's just say I wake up and it's doing something like that, then here comes the other side because I'm extremely bullish. If it gets below 15, I would probably buy 50%. Hopefully it keeps going. Now, remember, I'm already out of the position, so I'm covered. This is a whole new position. If it goes down in here, I'll buy more. It could get all the way down to where it started. I don't think so. But there's a good chance that I'm buying this thing in three different uh, three different moves between $10 and $15. And then it's just a swing trade. And what would make me get out after that is basically I'm looking for Bitcoin to take off and take out its old high. I truly believe that's going to happen this year. The only way, in my opinion, that it's not going to take out its old high is if we have a market crash across the board. Real estate crashes, you know, paintings crash, the stock market, the bond market. If it all crashes, yes, uh, Bitcoin might not take out its old high. But if we just trade sideways, to down in the stock market and no big, big pullbacks outside of what's already happened, Bitcoin's running to 100,000 and it's definitely going to take out its old high. So when it does, that would put this thing, in my opinion, it would put this up to uh, an area 
up of above 40 uh $40 and that's about a 4x guys that's a 4x just to get back to its all time high um and I don't I have no doubt in my opinion that it's it's probably going to take that out but that'd be a 4x so um if I happen to catch that um depending on what how aggressive bitcoin's going I'd probably sell a little bit when it takes out this high. I'd sell probably a little bit somewhere in here. Then when it tests that, I would definitely look to sell right when it's breaking it. Hopefully it'll break it really fast. That's what it normally does. You know, it spikes. I'd sell there and I might have say 10% left because uh, there would be a chance that this thing, uh, 5x is from its old high i'm not gonna you know say it's not but i'm not saying it is uh but i don't care i i'll have 10 percent left and i might might keep that if bitcoin is really really uh showing that it is gonna head toward a hundred thousand after it's already taken out its old high anyway guys that's my position if anything else guys or if nothing else follow along uh and follow up on this trade just to see one if i know what i'm talking about and two you'll get that learning experience uh so that's all i got for you guys do your homework go down the rabbit hole with wave i think it is a phenomenal project long term hold it's all good go down the rabbit hole do your homework i think you'll come to the same conclusion not financial advice just financial opinion uh if you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you've learned anything, hit that like button. And look, mash that bell if you have any interest in trading because obviously it's time sensitive and I want you to be able to follow, follow along and get these in a timely manner. And hey, if you are trading something else, if you got some swing trades or some really good tokens that I should know about, leave that in the comments section. Anyway, guys, that's all I got for you. I appreciate your time. Uh, Y'all come back and please share with like-minded people.